His thoughtful contribution. Let me say, Madam Speaker, that getting the, Amer the American economy back on track is priority number one for all of us, and ensuring that children who are truly in need have access to the best quality health care is right there as a very high priority. It's obvious that this measure that is before us does not accomplish that. Uh, Dr. Burke last night before the Rules Committee was very clear in addressing a number of the concerns that we have been raising consistently on this and unfortunately undermine the opportunity for us to ensure that dollars truly get, get to those who are truly in need. And I find it very, very troubling that we are continuing down a path where potentially people who are in this country illegally will have access to the state children's health insurance program. We are with the crowd out actually incentivizing people to move off of private insurance onto government insurance, and we are still creating an opportunity for those who are wealthy and adults to be beneficiaries of this program. No matter what it says in the bill, as Dr. Burgess has pointed out, those four concerns are very justified. So as we seek to get the American economy back on track with an economic stimulus package, that will, in fact, grow our economy, not a massive spending program. We need to, as we address this issue of children's health, which is a very, very, very high priority, we need to do it in the most cost-effective way possible. This rule is unfortunately completely uh, shutting out members from having, like Dr. Burgess and others, from having the opportunity to participate. So I urge my colleagues to vote no on the rule, and if the rule passes, defeat the underlying legislation, we can do better for our nation's children.